Here's a little technique hack with the kip. Not only is this technique hack gonna be uh, beneficial for the kip itself, but it also doubles as an Olympic lifting benefit. So what we've been teaching for the Olympic lifts is how important that posture is. So what we call this position in our upper back is the wedge concept for anything overhead like a snatch or a clean and jerk. But now what we realize, um, Dang helped us pair, uh, put two and two together, realizing that when you guys open up for that Olympic lift, that posture, locking out a snatch overhead like this, it's the same mechanics as a kip. And then I started realizing that myself by practicing it. When I'm doing my kips, like for a toes to bar, which you'll see real quick right here, when I'm going over, when I'm doing my toes to bar in this video, when I'm kipping really, I only get to about here on the way forward like this. So what's happening is when I start to kip like this, I'll get a good backswing because I'm pushing as hard as I can with my pec, my lats, all that fun stuff. But when I come through, I like run into a wall. What's happening is that everything stays tight up here. I'm not opening up to get a bigger swing. So to get, to be more efficient at kipping, you don't want to waste a lot of grip strength and upper body strength. Every time that I kip like this, I should be coming all the way through, which would mimic that overhead position we've been training for the snatch. But I don't, I didn't really realize that. I'm getting to the point, like in the video again, it gets stuck here and then I kip from there. That's gonna really tax the forearms, the grip. It's like every single time I'm like cutting the swing short in half, right? Cause I wanna be all the way through and then all the way back. So what I want to focus on and then when I applied the wedge concept, I felt a lot more fluid. I felt like I got more momentum and it makes sense because that pendulum, that swing, now gets to go through the full range. And then I use all that momentum because it's spring loaded like this to be able to push back. So if you look at the difference, here it is, you'll see in the video. When I'm kipping this way, you'll see that now there's wrinkles in the shirt. Right back here, instead of staying rounded like this, I'm actually getting through. So again, the idea is if you start to open up this T-spine, the upper back for kipping, that's also gonna translate to your Olympic lifts and overhead. So something to think about, and when you guys are assessing your mechanics, see if your upper back stays rounded like this when you come through the swing. Or are you actually getting through the swing and getting that range of motion, and then your upper back goes from this posture to this wedge concept. So try it out, videotape yourself, or ask one of the coaches um, to take a look at your kip swing. But most of the time I've been realizing now that a lot of people think they're swinging, but they're really not getting to their true potential. So try that out and let us know how it goes.